Good morning. So I'm starting day three. Um, I have about 770 kilometers to drive um, and uh, ready for the task. So um, I just wanted to mention um, it's very different in Europe um, with breakfast. When I travel in North America and you go to some motel on the way it's breakfast from 5 30 a.m till 6 30 a.m after that nothing and uh, <laughs> and when you're on holiday that's that's a bit early and so here it's the other way around uh, they try to make breakfast as late as possible so i was talking with the hotel owner there's only two guests me and him and and i said well breakfast maybe 8 30 or so and no it's too early and so we agreed on 9 30 <laughs> for the breakfast so the clocks are going differently here today over and out so i just had a little lunch um, i'm now already very south in spain at a little gas station that's off the highway I had to get my um, lunch costs under control um, and that was was uh, a troublesome in the first two days that because I needed Wi-Fi um, I went to Burger Kings or something like this that's major stations on the highway and so a little lunch was 20 euros so I can use the Wi-Fi <laughs> and that goes that that really starts hurting after a while so uh, today my lunch at this little gas station is um, <coughs> two apples and a bottle of orange juice uh, for two euros so that's far more manageable over and out holy moly is it windy i was forced off the highway i'm standing here in a pretty protected area and yet the trees are bending like crazy it's almost like a typhoon um, and the scooter, while at the while at the pump, almost came off its center stand <laughs> from the wind. Holy moly! I don't know what to do. Um, I gotta get to the hotel. It's still 200 kilometers away, but in this wind, it's it's almost impossible. I mean, it's probably 80, 90 kilometer winds, and they're gusty and coming from all sides, constantly changing. And then add to that. 100 kilometers or 110 from the scooter itself in wind speed holy moly <laughs> well i'll keep you posted well i just asked a truck driver with that in that truck there he's filling up whether it's always so windy here i used my little iphone with with translate and uh, it turns out yes so there's no sense in trying to wait this out or anything. I'll guess I'll have to struggle on. <laughs> All right, but it feels like a typhoon. <laughs> Over and out. Holy moly. <laughs> so I got just in the last hour and a half, a hundred kilometers. I did find a solution uh, with this, with this really with this typhoon like wind. I've, never experienced anything like this uh, over such a long stretch and there's no letting up even though it's getting the sun is setting soon um, so my solution was that I um, follow a truck uh, well first I drove with flashlights on the highway about, about 80 or so 70 and was just blown everywhere and then thankfully a truck passed me and i drove in the wind shadow of this truck and uh, so there's a sweet spot it turns out where you still get hit like a hammer from left and right like this <laughs> but but at least you're keeping halfway in the lane <laughs> behind this truck and believable so i'll have another 100 kilometers to the hotel um, i hope that with with the sun slowly setting it's it's going to be all right i put scooty into a very well not scooty simmy <laughs> my little simmy um into a wind somewhat wind protected corner over there um 
so that it doesn't get blown over like at the last gas station. I mean, I was just filling in gas and all of a sudden the scooter whoop, starts tipping. <laughs> I just with my other hand had to grab the scooter. Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you. So anyway, I wanted to quickly explain where I think this wind is coming from. Um, so I drove through these mountains here. Very, very rugged sort of step desert terrain. And the ocean, you probably can't see it on the video, but the ocean is right there. And so the wind comes from the ocean and then gets into this very jaggedy terrain so it gets it blows from you at all sides every every 10 20 meters there is a different wind direction and it all gets heated up with this i'm i'm now close to gibraltar and the sun just beats down there heats up the stone and you get an updrift in these jaggedy mountains that amplifies this wind incredibly that's anyway my amateur explanation of why look at those trees over there um, why that is so extreme the wind and from a vegetation point of view you can see the cacti are growing strong um, I think it's even too dry and hot for the palm trees because they kind of have disappeared again but what an incredible experience Wow, my wife, who is my travel agent, got me this gorgeous room for 40 euros. <laughs> this is right at the coast, the ocean is outside, the bathroom, big shower. Closet. The bed and a big balcony. That is one gorgeous room. Looking out onto the street. <laughs> Thank you, my dear wife. Okay. So we'll have a quick look at it before the sun sets. There's a promenade here that's probably, I'm guessing, 50 kilometers long. It is a huge sort of area here. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. And apparently, if there's ever a clear day, you supposedly can see the shores of Africa. So I'm really close now. Tomorrow, I'll, tomorrow afternoon, I'll be taking the ferry to Africa. Very the nice straw umbrellas. Very, very beautiful. But the sun is about to set and there's still a lot of waves. It shows you what a windy area this is. <laughs> Amazing. Well, over and up.